All right, so moving back to pro wrestling here before we get to AW and NXT. Last night, Impact. Tony Khan on the show, Matt Hardy, Private Party, and we have the Good Brothers coming to Beach Blast for the six-man main event. Yeah, um, you know, the whole show was basically built for a Private Party against... uh, James Storm and Chris Sabin. Since Chris Sabin, you know, I guess it was probably supposed to be Alex Shelley, but Shelley missed the tapings. And um, so they got Storm in, and um, he was in the area and everything like that. And uh, uh, Private Party won, you know, kind of going heel and everything like that. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, you know, an impact television, or I mean, an impact television like Tony Khan's this cocky heel owner, and um, he was there with Jerry Lynn, and Jerry Lynn actually interfered, uh, costing um, Storm and Saban the match in the you know, and as far as the finish, I think through, through a chair, and um, you know they did, you know, the follow ups and everything like that. They um, they didn't go as strong in the direction of Rich Swan and um, Omega. They were really strong more with Rich Swan against Moose, and maybe because if they if they're doing Rich Swan and Omega in um, Impact, it's probably not going to be until April. So it's a long ways away. So uh, Moose turned on Rich Swan after the match was over. He said he promised he wouldn't. He promised he would be a good partner, um, and he wouldn't turn on him during the match. And he said that he kept his promise because he didn't turn until after the match was over. And they had a big. Big brawl. Swan wanted to wrestle him on the show, and Moose came out and and kind of did the stuff about how, uh, you know, we're going to do it on my time, not your time. So it'll be done later. And um, you know that was they that was the, the farewell of Ty of Valkyrie. They did some you know cute stuff when um, the deal was is that she was actually the one who shot Johnny Bravo for that mystery. That's silly stuff. Very silly. And um, she admitted it, and the police came to drag her away, and uh, they kind of made, you know, some remarks about, like, you know, this, her, her contract's up, and she's she's not signing a new deal. So that's what this was all about. But, um, you know, Tommy Dreamer goes, well, the best-case scenario is she's going to be going to prison in Jacksonville. The worst-case scenario is she's going to go to prison in Stamford, and then... Um, I think it was Ace Romero goes, or she could be going to prison in Baltimore. So it was kind of like your inside lines that she's either going to, you know, and he, and he said like, you know, like two years with a, well, it goes like, like she's going to go to prison for two years with a one year option, you know. So it's kind of like trying to hint that she's going to, if the, the best scenario would be she signs with AEW, the worst would be WWE, and there's also a chance it could be Ring of Honor. That was kind of like the way they cutely put that all together. And um, I don't think there's anything else that was noteworthy. Um, I mean, those were the, you know, Taya leaving and uh, the, you know, the private party um, wrestling storm and uh, and um, Saban was was kind of the, the, I guess, kind of the biggest thing. Um, the, 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 so private party won. So next week on the TV, they're going to have private party challenging gallows and anderson for the tag team championship on impact television so with matt hardy in the corner of private party and matt hardy was bragging about how you know in 2016 he saved impact from going out of business because he's the only thing relevant on their tv and there is something to that i don't know if he you know there's a lot of things that saved it um they were very very close to going out of business they almost did they had to get like late money to, to for for several tapings, and the feeling was if they missed a taping, um, back then um, that would breach the contract with India, and the India contract was really the only thing keeping them alive. So, you know, it was different people. And Billy Corgan put money in at the last minute, you know, once or twice. Um, finally, Anthem bought them. So ever since Anthem bought them, they've been okay financially, I guess. Um, you know they're surviving they're there but uh you know they were very close to going out of business a couple times and um and that was you know matt hardy was the big thing with the broken matt hardy character 
that was about the only thing anyone talked about on on uh, impact at one point so anyway that was that hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.